on the Enrich site, we've published a, a set of math dokus. Um, and what Charlie and I are going to do now is have a, a, a go at one math doku, which happens to be a six by six grid, um, to give you an idea of some strategies you can use um, as you solve some of the other size grids yourself. So first of all, let's think about our aim here. What we're trying to do is we're trying to get the numbers one to six to appear exactly once in each row and exactly once in each column. To help us, we're given some clues. Um, for example, you can see on the grid that some of the cells have got bold lines around them, which creates what we call a cage. Uh, towards the right-hand side near the bottom, can you see there's a 10 plus cage? So you can see those three cells that we're highlighting. Those three cells add to 10. They have a sum of 10. That's what that means. Uh, just by way of another example, a little bit further to the left at the bottom, we've got a 15 times or a 15 multiply cage. So that means that the product of those three cells is 15. They, they multiply together to make 15. So Charlie, shall we have a little go at this math doku? Um, uh, where should we start? The easiest place to start is the top right, where we've been not given a clue, but we've been told that that's the number one. So we could just type the number one into there. That's easy. Okay. And I suggest the next place to go to is the third row, because we've got a five minus here. And I know that the only pair of numbers that is going to give me a difference of five are going to be one and six. So I can use this button in the bottom right to um, put one and six into these two cells as placeholders, because I don't know whether it's going to be one on the left and six on the right, or six on the left and one on the right, but I can keep them there for the time being to remind myself. And the reason I think this is a really helpful clue to go to is that when I look at the clue to the right of it, two divided, I know that there are only th three possibilities. It can either be six divided by three, four divided by two, or two divided by one. But given that I know that I'm going to use the numbers one and six in this, uh, to the left, I can't use six divided by three, because I've already used six. I can't use two divided by one, because I already have used one. So the only pair that I'm allowed, it's going to be two and four. And again, I don't know which order to put them in, but I do know that two and four are going to appear in those two cells, which now tells me that if I've used one, two, four, and six here, I must use three and five, the only two numbers that are left in those two cells. And the reason this is helpful is that in this cage, the numbers add up to 11. And if I've got three and five in these two cells, again, I don't know which order, but I know that these two cells are going to add up to eight. The last number in this cage must be a three. So I click on the button here in the bottom right, and I can include the number three there. Um, and that's also good because now I know that the cell below can't have a three, so it's got to have a five. And this one can't have a five, so it's got to have a three. Brilliant. Oh, that's a great start. OK, hmm, I wonder where we should go now. P perhaps, Charlie, you could um, click where it says help there. Um, in our math docus, we've got this hint system. OK, so it's showing us that there's a highlighted yellow square there now. So the interactivity is telling us that that square can be filled. Shall we find out a bit more information, Charlie? Could you click on give me a hint? It says, what are the possibilities for this cage? Looking carefully at the first column. Right, okay. So looking at the first column, we can see in the first column, we're told that the lowest three cells sum to 11, they have a total of 11. Now, we know that in that column, we've got to have all the numbers from one to six. And I think the total of the numbers one, two, three, four, five plus six is 21. So that means the top three cells must add to 10. So let's have a think. Let's imagine that um, the highlighted cell you've got now, Charlie, if that was a six, 
then thank you then we'd need to have the top two cells in that first column they need to add to four but we're also told they have a difference of one so okay two numbers to add to four could be one and three but they don't have a difference of one and in fact i think that's the only possibility because of course we can't have two twos in the in the same column so i think the number six is not going to work in that cell so let's check that the number one does work um, if it's a one in that cell, then we would need uh, to, for the top two cells in that column to total nine to make the 10 that we talked about just now. Uh, and they also have to have a difference of one. Okay, so four and five will work. Now we don't know which way round they're going to be, but if we could mark them, brilliant. So I think we can say for sure then, Charlie, that that cell is a one. So I'm gonna click on that button to, okay. Oh, and that means that this cell can't be a one, so that's got to be a six. Absolutely. Yeah, great. Okay. Um, what about in column two? Can we have a quick look at column two, I wonder? Can you see, Charlie, how we've got these two, we've got two cages that have three minus. Um, so if we think about the possibilities for three minus, we could have... Um, six and three, we can have five and two, we can have four and one, but actually we're not gonna be able to have six and three in either of those because we've already got a six in that column. So, so we could have a yep. difference of six with five and two there. That's right. But it could be that we have the five and two here. We don't know. We don't know yet, yeah. I mean, and the other possibility you said was one and four. That's right, would give that difference of three. And again, we don't know. And the, the, the last possibility was three and six, but we can't have that because we've already got a six. Exactly. But that's great because it means that one and four need to go in one of those columns, the, 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 those two cells, two and five in the other one. And we've already got a six here. So that means that that cell there has to be a three because I agree. it's the only number that hasn't been used. Yes, and we know that for certain. And the difference yeah. between this number and the number next to it is three. Mm -hmm. So I think that has to be a six. Yes, I agree as well. Okay, so where should we look now? Um, what about, yes, at the top there, Charlie, at the top of that 11 plus cage, um, if we look at the numbers that we've already used in that column, we know we've already used a one, a four and a five. So that cell can't be a one, a four or a five. And if we look along the row, we've already got a three and a six. So therefore, I think the only possibility for that cell is a two. Would you agree? Yes. So these two cells now we know yes. can only be three and six. Three and six, yep. Yeah. And that, that's reassuring. They sum to make nine, which together with the two would make 11. Good. We don't, we don't know which way round yet. Okay. Um, looking at column four, if we think about, we're going to need a six in that column somewhere. We can't put it in um, the top of the three minus cage. That's it, we can't get there because we've already got a six in that um, row. If we put a six in the bottom, we'd need a three to make that three minus cage true. And again, we can't do that because we've got a three in that row already. So we can't put a six there, we can't put a six. There. I don't think we can put a six here because the only way to get 15 as the product of three numbers is gonna be one, three and five. I agree, yeah, six, six is not a factor of 15. So we're not gonna be able to put it there, great. So I think that we know therefore that it's got to be a six has got to be in one of those two in the one minus cage. We don't know which way around yet, but actually that's also means that, yeah, if we're gonna have a difference of one, it's got to be a five is the alternative. So we know it's gonna be five and six in that top cage, but we're just not sure which order yet. Oh, and if we 
if we're using a five in this fourth column, yes, we're not going to be able to use a five there. I agree. We're not going to be able to use a five there because there's a five above it. Mm -hmm. So the only place we can put a five in that fourth row is in this cell. Yeah. Agreed. So I wonder if we can place any fives in the bottom rows, Charlie. Um, oh, look, if we if we look um, in uh, in that third sorry, in that fourth column in the bottom row, we can take out the five from there. We know that can't be a five because we know for certain we've got a five at the top of that row, at the column, beg your pardon. Fantastic. So let's have a think. If we look at the fourth, the fifth row even, in that fifth row, we're going to have to have a five somewhere. It can't go in the very far right because we've already got a five in that column. It can't go in the fifth column because we've already got a five there. It can't go where your mouse is now because we've already got a five at the top of that column. Uh, and it can't go at, in the first column either, Charlie. Yeah, can it? Because we've got the five at the top there. So it's going to have to go either in the second or third column, columns of that row. And so it's, it's going to be the same in the sixth it's row. It's going to be the same in the sixth, right. So the, the two fives from the bottom two rows are either going to have to go there and there, diagonally opposite, or there and there, diagonally opposite. So that's useful, actually, because I think that means we can't possibly have a one and a four combination in that bottom three minus cage in the second column. So I'll get rid of one and four there, and I'll get rid of one and four there, because we need... A, ah, but that means that we can't have two and five there. Or there. And we've got a one here. Ah, great. So this is going to have to be a four. And so it can't be a four there. That's going to have to be a one. That can't be a four there because we've got a four next to it. That's going to have to be a five. So the four is going to have to go there. And that can't uh, be a five. We've got a bit of a domino effect now, I think. That's going to be a five. Fantastic. What about the um, the three divide uh, cage there, Charlie? In the yes, in that fifth row, fifth column. There are only two ways of getting three divide. I think it's three divided by one or six divided by two. Yes. And we can't have three divided by one because we can't put a one in either of these two cells because there's a one already on the first row and there's already a one on the second row. So it's going to have to be six and two. And we've got a six there, so I think the six is going to have to go there and the two is going to have to go there. Fantastic. And now we can fill in those, uh, yeah, top two rows. What's missing there? Three? Three and a two, I think. A two. Which means look, this can't yeah. be a two and this can't be a four. Fantastic. Um, I think we can fill this cell because we've used one, three, five, two and six here. So that has to be a four. To be a four. And then we can complete that row, I think, with a one. one. Would you agree? Which means that this can't be a one. Which means we can finish this, can't That's we? That's going to be a four to give that difference of three as well. Yep. And that yeah, This cage has got to be 11. And we've got nine so far. Uh, it's got to be 10, I think, not 11. Sorry, 10. Yeah. Perfect. Can we finish that col column then, that fifth column? One, two, three, four. Four missing four. here. Yes. Um, We've got a three here, so this can't be a three. Great. So this can't be a six. Um, we can do, so we can't have a one there. And, that, um, and we, we yeah. can't have a one there because of that one, and we can't have a three here because of that three. So that one's got to be a five. five. So and therefore, got to be a one. Yeah. This has got to be a two. Oh, it's dropping out now. Five. This has got to be a two, and this has got to be a six. Six. And we can check our answers. Oh, Ooh. well done, Charlie. Good teamwork. <laughs> well done.